Hey, what's up there, weebies? So no, please let me know if I'm saying the fandom name correctly because I'm not totally sure how to say it. So if you could let me know, that would be great. I'm going to finally, finally be checking out One Wee featuring Hossa of Mamamoo's Q. And then I'm going to be checking out the more recent comeback for End of Spring. So I'm really looking forward to it. And yes, I do know they are a band-based group, not a like a choreo idol-based group. So, I'm really looking forward to what this will bring, what this will be about, what the song will be like, what the visuals are, all that good stuff. So, let's get into it. Ooh, I like his hair. <laughs> I'm not super super familiar with all their music or their voices or anything, but I like his voice. Okay, upside down. <laughs> Yes, I do know it. That's Jion's twin, who won us. <laughs> It has a very chill feel. I like it. Okay, high notes. <laughs> Okay, so to be honest, I didn't have too many thoughts on it. Um, did think that it was really nice. I really liked that it was more of a chill kind of song, like slightly more upbeat, but mostly chill. And I was kind of feeling like trying to understand the concept visually, that there was like talking about a relationship that was kind of going bad and like the SFX scars they had were representing like um, the pain a relationship and obviously like Hossa was like throwing things around in the room so um I think that's kind of hopefully the right thing to be picking up on and I will be checking out lyrics 
probably after I check out end of spring and then I'll kind of do my summary together with the lyrics of end of spring so yeah I like this it was a nice beat nice visuals <laughs> and yeah that's really all I can think of to say for this one now let's check out end of spring Alrighty, end of spring here we go this is a really nice opening shot <laughs> Already like in the direction of the song already, it's only the beginning. Okay, party vibe, alright. Yeah, I'm way more covered by these visuals already. Like this one a lot. <laughs> Yeah, one in the dirt And I know that Alexa will be in this as well. I remember that too. Let's see if I can find her. <laughs> She'll make her friend somewhere. Hey, there she is. One. I really, really enjoyed End of Spring, as you can tell, I was very into it. So it's interesting that Q had a lot more of like a sad, uh, more trouble in paradise kind of vibe to it. But this one was like obviously the complete opposite. It was very like party esque, having fun, enjoying company, dancing your heart out, that kind of thing. It was such a fun vibe, such a fun vibe, and I really, really loved it. Alrighty, so. Yes, I'm going to now check out the lyrics for both songs off screen and I'll be back with interpretation and summary, all that good stuff for both songs. 
and I'll be back. <clears throat> I'm so quiet. And I'll be back. I am back. <laughs> As usual, on the screen, I will have what I wrote down. So let's get into it. To start, I was right in picking up on the Sour Love slash Trouble in Paradise vibe that was being given. Now, as I was reading, there's a lot of talk about how the guy would be trying to contact the girl at odd hours, especially at night, and it not getting them anywhere communication-wise, which only then causes, on both ends, troublesome and burdensome feelings. The chorus to me is saying, stop worrying about me right now and go help yourself to be your best self. Also like saying, you don't seem to have a strong love for yourself, so work on that first before trying to show love for me. They both try to change positions or the way they both approach the relationship, but nothing is working out. They keep hitting dead ends. I don't know why this is hating. Hippos, fun. It's either they both call it quits and move on since the progression of the relationship is going nowhere, or they work on themselves first and try again with fresh eyes, ears, mindset, and heart. Yeah, that's pretty much my take on Q. And it's kind of interesting. I was actually thinking as I was reading, like, what exactly is the Q? And it's kind of just like a different way of saying. I think the lyrics were like, I don't know, something like that. So, yes. Alrighty, now let's get into my interpretation summary for End of Spring. This song is very heavy on being sentimental about the days they had during screen time. Obviously, springtime. The days that were spent with either each other or, in a more romantic sense, the partner are described to be the best and most fun to look back on. The spring days were described to be filled with all the best experiences and, as with any time in life, sad times. But all in all, they see those moments as great memories to cherish. As song progresses, they talk about their redirecting focus to the future days and saying a warm goodbye to their, to the past spring season days. They will miss them, but they also know that they have amazing future times ahead of them to look forward to. So yeah, pretty much between the two songs, I definitely like like uh, End of Spring more just because it's a little bit more upbeat, it's more fun, it's more celebratory, and it's more of my alley. So yeah, that was my reaction to Bo's Q featuring Hwasa and End of Spring with some appearances of one us members and Alexa, which was quite fun. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below, comment below what you thought of both music videos and what you thought of this video. Anything else that you want to comment below, go right ahead. To my left, but on the screen, you'll write us into my most recent upload, as well as that subscribe button. Y'all know what to do with those. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and set it to all. That way you are missing your upload from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. I like you guys say yo.